Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about the Dwell KPI visual. I thought about the scenarios where I could use this visual and I thought that maybe for a stockbroker who's trying to evaluate the returns for a stock versus the gross index returns, it might be useful. So what I did was I grabbed the data for the Dow Jones uh, index and I grabbed the data for Berkshire Hathaway which is the company owned by Warren Buffett just to see the kind of returns they were giving. And I've got this here. So you can see that overall Berkshire has given a return of 13830.4, which is incredible compared to Dow Jones, which is just 1528%. So let us learn how to build this. I've, for this, I've grabbed the data. One is from Yahoo. So I've grabbed the data from uh, Yahoo and uh, so I'll put the links on and I've grabbed the monthly data. Plus I've grabbed the dwell KPI visual from the Power BI uh, website. I will be putting the links as well as the data files I'm using for this visual. So let's continue. Let's just create another page. And I've already imported the visual. So, and I've got Berkshire Hathaway data and Dow Jones data with me. So you can go here and we can see, so this is the data for Berkshire and this is the data for Dow Jones index. So let's go back here and let's select the date from the Dow Jones index. So we will just select the date here and put it as an access field. And I want uh, Dow Jones index to be uh, at the top. So I'll just drag this field into the top value and Berkshire close. So close is the value at which the share or the index closed on a particular date. And you can see it's count. I just want a minimum value. I don't want to count. It could be minimum or maximum doesn't matter because we just have one value for a particular day. Now, as you can see here, uh, Berkshire is giving me a return of infinity percentage. This is because the, the Dow Jones the date on which the Dow Jones index starts, there is no data for Berkshire. So what we need to do is just add a filter. So we'll just grab the date from Berkshire data and say that we just want a advanced filter where we'll just say that it is after and then we will just say that in 1985. So there is for sure one date for the Berkshire stock as well as for Dow Jones after first before first of February. So we'll just select this and we'll just click on apply filter. So as you can see now that the Berkshire says that it has returned us at a rate of 1356.9 percent. Now what you can do is just move this and it shows you on, on the right hand side bottom. So from that particular day, what has been the return? So you keep moving this and you can see that on, uh, in 1987, the return has been for Dow Jones, it's been 700% while for Berkshire, it has been 6,284. You keep moving and you can see that the, it shows us the value of the index on the top and the share on the bottom. And on the bottom right hand side, it gives us the return since that point of time. So if you look at since 2013, the Berkshire stock has given 50% return, while the Dow Jones has given 38% return. So you can move it a bit back and see and analyze the data further. So this is one thing I could think of um, in terms of utilizing the dual KPI visual. Uh, please go ahead and explore the other option. This is just a basic video to let you get started. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching.